Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will show you this very simple circuit, which is a darkness detector. As you can see, when the light does not impinge on the solar cell, the LED lamp goes on. The circuit has just a few components two resistors, a diode, and one NPN transistor. This circuit is uh, actually what you can find in solar garden lamps. The solar cell has a double purpose. It serves as a darkness detector to turn the LED on and off and also recharges your batteries. In my case, I am using non-rechargeable batteries. These are uh, normal batteries. But if you use rechargeable batteries, the solar cell will charge them. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. Here is the circuit, very, very simple as you can see. How it works? Okay, here we have a PNP transistor. And remember that with PNP transistor, when the transistor is on, that is when current flows to the base of the transistor, then the transistor closes. That is, no current can flow from emitter to collector. And when the transistor is off, no current to the base, then the transistor conducts and current can flow uh, from emitter to collector and then to or LED. Now, uh, imagine that we are at night, no current is generated from the solar panel and therefore there is no way that the current can flow to the base of the transistor. The transistor is off and therefore it is closed, current can flow uh, in this way, the current from the battery goes through the transistor and then turns on the LED. That is at night. And when the light impinges on the solar panel, it generates a voltage and the current can flow through the resistor and then to the base. The transistor goes on, closes, the pass of current and then the LED goes off and we have this diode here to prevent the current from the battery to go through the solar cell and discharging the battery. Now uh, I am using here a BC557 PMP transistor but you can use any small signal PMP transistor for this circuit and uh, you need a solar panel that has a voltage a little bit higher than that of your rechargeable battery. For example with 6 volt solar panel you can use a 4 to 5 volts battery and with for example if you use a 9 volt rechargeable battery you will need a 12 volt solar panel and so on. And also, if you want to use a more powerful LED, then you need to change your transistor with a transistor that uh, carries more, more current, more powerful transistor. And the circuit works uh, really well. When you uh, cover the solar panel, no light goes on the solar panel, the LED turns on with the energy from your batteries and when the light goes on the solar panel the LED goes off and the energy generated by the panel 
recharges your batteries. In case you want to turn on and off a larger load, then what you can do is to replace the LED and the resistor with a relay. The relay will turn on and off and it can carry very large currents to turn a larger load on and off. So there you have it, a very simple circuit. I hope you liked this video. Thanks for visiting my channel and see you in the next one.